So let's get into it. What's good? Welcome back to my channel. I'm another video for you guys on this nice day. And for today's video is a smoke sesh. If you got your blunts, light up, light up, because I am. Got my spliff in my hand. And for today's topic, I just want to talk about 6 9 <sighs> Yes, everybody knows 6 9 He's been in the news, of course, for stunt deviling. And just what? Friday, I believe, last Friday, he dropped his album called Tatty Tales. Now, I'm not giving it a listen. If y'all think this smoke stash is me listening to them, listening to this ninja. Neil. Neil. I just want to discuss, like, his behavior in general. Because I was inspired. Last night, I watched a podcast when 6 9 called into the Gilly show. Gilly the Kid show. Um, and I just wanted to talk about how he was talking because I'm not even about to side with him but 6 9 came to Gilly professional as hell y'all can't lie if y'all ever dealt with someone that's like trying to make a deal like a company making a deal with an artist they're gonna say stuff to get you to agree with whatever project y'all want to work on feel me and I felt like 6 9 did come to him professionally, but Ninja. your career is over. Your career is over. Ninja. DJ Academics talking about that he only sold 45,000 copies of his latest album, Tata Tales. Ninja. Your career is over. Like, you, 6 9 got his clout off of doing all those stunts. To be honest, from the jump, 6 9 wasn't that hard. Ninja. Got a couple bangers in the clubs. Gumbo. I don't know. I don't listen to this nigga. But it's just, he got, some, he got like a few songs that play in the club and everybody go crazy too. Other than that, this is not a ninja that I will listen to constantly every day. This is not something I will hype myself up to. Like, are you crazy? No. The 6 9 he's just wilding right now. So back to the podcast. To sum up what he was saying, he was saying, oh, this is going to be the deal of your lifetime. Gilly, you're going to be working with someone that basically was a snitch, and you have the platform to tell me that I was wrong, da 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 give the audience what they want to see, and stuff like that. Like, he was really trying to sell the proposal. Like, he was really trying to sell it, saying all of this, like, all the clout that you can get, all the money that you can make. But listen, from Gilly's standpoint, he was coming from, like, the moral standpoint, as in, I'm not with no rat ass. Ninja. <laughs> That's where he was coming from, because, like, I feel, I feel where Gilly was coming from too, cause like, all the clout, I don't need the clout. I'm from the streets and I can't associate myself with a rat ass ninja. That's basically what Gilly was trying to get at, cause like, no, like how does he look? 6 9 said in the full call that he was one of those older heads that everybody looked up to because you know, he had experience in the streets or whatever. But, okay, but... From his point of view, how is that going to look towards his peers? Like, his peers going to look at him like, oh, you with a rat now? You interviewing a rat? F you giving this rat a platform for more exposure that he don't need? That he don't need? <laughs> I'm like a very open-minded person, so I see from both point of views. Because they're both coming from different perspectives. Like, Gilly... He's a hood ninja. He's from the streets. He repped that to heart. Feel me? Like, all the rules to the streets, he repped that. 6 9 being someone that's in the business, you're trying your best to market yourself the best that you can to get how much money, how much exposure. You can get a lot of exposure and shit from that. He's just trying to get clout. 6 9 is just trying to get clout for more money more attention and that's it and the way to do that is try to partner with someone <laughs> that relates to the case because this nigga you know six nine everybody knows six nine case right well, supposedly he was already blood 
he was part of a gang repping Treyway, Treyway, Treyway. And then all of a sudden, his booking company or label, yeah, his booking company, he, oh, <laughs> that's what 6ix9ine called it, dirty ass promoters. <laughs> and them niggas basically ripped him off for like probably over a million dollars. Such and such, they got raided by the FBI because they was on some money and drug shit and they also dragged 6ix9ine into it basically. Ninja. Got some time and now he out on the bull He is out on the bullshit right now. Like I get both sides. But me, if you was to ask me personally what side I'm siding on on this, it's definitely Gilly. Cause I'm more, I'm a more morally type of person. Like I go by my beliefs, not like how much shit I could get from it. Like six nine, I don't agree with six nine, but I see what he's doing. And from a business perspective, that would have been a good move for more exposure and money that he desperately needs. Let's talk about his stunts. Let me go to his Instagram real quick. I'm gonna put it up on the screen, but it's this video. And then you come in. Where you going, nigga? You doing niggas won't get catch up too? Yo, boy, come in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, we on. Oh yeah, fuck you, talk to Come in, nigga. Come in. Come in. What? Yo, just chill, boy. You dropped your dollar, bro. It's all good. You're the king of New York. Calm down. Oh, thank you. It's okay. Like, it's just stuff like that. Like, you know you corny when you have to stage stuff like that. Like, bye. You're not funny. Just be gone. But he is just a clown. Then 6 9 went to Little Dirk's hood, I guess, and kissed the ground, got on his knees and everything with some flowers, just trying to do the whole most, trying to disrespect. <laughs> One day, I caught myself watching the 6 9 video, like, the latest video that he just dropped, I caught myself watching it. Cause you know why? Cause I wanna see what stunt this dumbass did today. <laughs> and that's how 6 9 gained his clout, because people just wanna see what is he doing for attention now. This guy is crazy, I swear to god, like... If you like 6 9 I'm sorry, but let's be real. I'm all about being real. Let your favorite rapper know that he's out here looking crazy. Like, yeah, some bands involved, but damn, Ninja. you don't care about your image. Let me, you know what, just for the video, I'm going to play a song off the album. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I don't even know what song because... Let's talk about 6 9 song titles. He don't know how to speak English. He don't know how to talk. He don't know how to produce full words. Tutu, Gooba, Wade, Trolls, Nini, Punani, Yaya, Leah, Gada. Like, these song titles don't make me want to listen to it because it's just like, what the hell? All right, I'm going to play Locked Up Part 2, I guess. I really want to know what this sounds like. That's two different flows. Just stop. And every, everybody, <laughs> all the Jamaicans I know was mad at 6 9 because he basically stole Punani. Fuck, Punani, fuck, fuck. Punani, fuck, 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 daddy. He stole that shit and made this song. Yo, like, I swear, I'm cutting out all 6 9 music. I'm sorry, guys, if it looked choppy or whatever, but I am not trying to get copyright claim on this guy. Like, I can't. I'm just making this one video just to tell him. If you're watching my video right now, listen up. All I gotta say is. 
I get what you're doing from a business perspective, as in you're trying to get more money, you're trying to market yourself and make and make opportunities with other people and other fields to get their perspective, but you must respect their perspective on you too. And you must understand that, listen, you're hot right now, like hot and as in <laughs> you're on some hot boy like, you just need to chill out. You're in the limelight, stunting on people, trolling people on the internet. And that's not a good look to associate yourself with. But, feel me, like, there is some rappers, like, of course, Nicki Minaj, that still partner with him. She's just getting money out of it. Like, I don't, I don't feel like she really care. But, you gotta respect other people, especially, like, older heads like Gilly. Like, from the hood, from the streets. You can't, they fit just like this. Like, it, it don't go like that. It's like this. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, 6 9 but that opportunity, it wasn't. It wasn't it. It wasn't it. And you talking about Joe Budden? Joe Budden about the interview now? I feel like the only thing Joe Budden will do is just let him talk. Because Joe Budden, oh my god, like, I've been watching his podcast lately, too, but Joe Budden's personality, I feel like he's just not there for the bullshit. Or he might throw in, you know, little questions to keep entertaining, but it's just, like, I feel like he's doing it for the money, like how Nicki is, like, feel me? If that do happen, that's sad. People are crazy, you know? Whatever... You could do whatever to get rich, right? I guess so. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Make sure you guys check out my other videos. I'm going to link a few videos in the description box for y'all to watch. Feel me? Because I'm, I feel like I'm kind of entertaining. A little entertaining. Feel me? <laughs> but yeah, comment too and like. And I'll just see you the next one. Later.